Good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. How was your day? Tired. <laughs> I thought that I, I, I thought that I would uh, get more um, recipes from you, but only two people. What happened? You don't want to bring us your knowledge about food. <laughs> Well, let's see. If we don't have enough material, I have other readings about food. And I also get the, the manual that you have. Okay. But we will finish this week working. And I am afraid about next week because the lesson only covers three sections, just three things. I say too little material, but I already uh, got two readings about different places. And also I will ask you to talk about the places that you would like to visit. if you have any places that you would like to visit. For example, in my case, I always wanted to go to visit Egypt and also Israel. But if I have, if I have to go in the same trip, first I have to go to Israel and then I can go to Egypt or other places. Because if Israel see that you have gone first to Egypt, they don't let you get into Israel. That's what somebody told me. And also, you have to be very careful about your names. I have an uncle that couldn't go to Israel, not because he has no money to pay for the for the trip, but because of his name. His name is Adonai. And that's one of the attributes of God. And you cannot have on your name one of the attributes of God. Strange thing. I told him Go and take and, and make your passport without thy name. <laughs> take out that name from your passport just for the trip. <laughs> but he didn't want to. Then take notes. For next week, you have to talk about the places that you would like to visit and tell why. There are other WhatsApp. When you send me WhatsApps at the hour I'm already with you, I didn't check them. And after the class, I only upload the things. And sometimes you write there and I don't answer. Let's see. No. Okay.
Almost time, three minutes more. Do you have plans for next Wednesday? Tienen planes para el miércoles? Is a day? No, or... nothing. You don't have a mother? I think oh. I will visit to my mother, yes. Oh, my okay. wife her to Yes, to most of the people that have mother go to to visit in her. And sometimes when you don't have a mother anymore, you still go to the cemetery or something like that. I, I never visit the cemetery. Graveyard. But, but some people had that. Uh, um, have it. Okay. My father died and I, I went to his to his uh, grave only to put him there. <laughs> I never visit him anymore. But it's not that I don't miss him. It's not that I don't uh, remember him. It's that I know that he's not there. And I keep him in my mind and in my heart. The grave is not where he is. Okay, almost time. The student who sent me the recipe is already here. I don't know the name. Uh, I have a recipe, yes. Ah, you have a recipe, yes. But if you have the recipe, but you haven't sent it to me, I don't have it. <laughs> I sent just the name in the in the WhatsApp group. I yes, don't know it's the hot cake, the, the hot cakes, or the macaroni. Macaroni, yes. Okay. Ugh. I have to to share the the presentation in the group, or or send if, you if you can. I don't know if you can uh, present it. That's why I ask you to send it to me. Okay, I will send you in the group. Okay. Do you know if you can share your presentations here? Because in, in Google Meet, you can share. But here I don't know. Yes, it's a puede. Uh, aquí, uh, uh, here I will I will say multiple participants can share. Or no, it's better one participant can share at a time. Okay. You can yes, you are sharing them. Who is sharing? Uh, me, teacher. You see okay. my. Okay. Next. My then you you may uh you have uh this is the macaroni thing. Yes. Okay. Good. Do you want to start? Yes. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, my recipe is about how to make macaroni. Easy and delicious recipe. One question. Tell me. Is actually macaroni or is is another pasta? Because my mother always called macaron and it is it is a spaghetti. <laughs> and I told her, Mom, that's not macaron, that's a spaghetti. The macaron um, has a hole. It's like a tube, a long tube. 
No, eh, coditos en Spanish. Ah, ok. Eh, elbows. Codito mm. eh, is elbows. Then this is elbows. When I'm searching in the Google, just I put macaroni and it does appear this recipe. Okay, but it, it, mm -hmm. when you go to buy it, they are elbows. Coditos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This recipe for coditos. Okay, go mm -hmm. ahead. Okay, um, step one. First, chop all um, the vegetable and boil the macaroni. Okay, which vegetables? Uh, to be honest, I, I don't want to, to be so long the presentation, so just I put the vegetable, but uh, it can be, uh, you can onion, use... Onion, onion, peppers. Onion, pepper. I think. Okay. And different colors. Different colors, yes. Okay. Step two, the, them tenderize the chopped veggies. Okay. That's uh, with oil. With oil. With oil, yes. Okay. Um, step three, after cooked veggies and spice pieces and mixed with boiled macaroni. Okay. And step four, finally, it, it's ready to be served. Okay. Do you add any uh, cheese or or cream? In this or case, something? no cheese, but if, if you like it, you can spread some cheese. Ah, okay. Yes. Good. It looks nice. Thank and you. Thank you so much. Life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. Good. Yes. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, too. Okay. Another one? Another one? You can present your own PPT. Or uh, do you want the ones that I have? Me, teacher. Lisbeth. The cookies. Yes. Okay, wait. Okay. Intellectual growth should commence at birth and sees only a death. That means that you have to be learning all the time. Okay. Well, okay, teacher. Recipe Christmas cookies. Okay. Ingredients. One pound of flour. One quart on salt. Eight ounces of margarine, eight ounces eating sugar, two eggs, two ounces of water, one spoon of vanilla, one four ounces baking powder. Produ pro procedure. Follow this eight steps. First, bake the butter and sugar in a bowl with the electric mixer for five minutes until it becomes fluffy. Add the eggs, the salt, and the vanilla mix again, again, and the flour and keep mixing until it becomes a stiff dough. Put the dough in plastic wrap and leave it in the fridge for two hours. Roll the dough on flour surfaces and cut in the different shapes using cookies quarters. Place the cookies in baking tray and bake them at maximum temperature until they become brown on the edges, usually 15 minutes. 
Is the baking? <laughs> yes. Wait until they are cold, and if you like, you can decorate them with color easy. You can also make a hole on the cookies before beginning them. Pass a short piece of wool trow in and hand them for the Christmas tree. Okay. How did you make that icing on the top with, with the colored uh, things? You send them to print? Is there a... No, is there a... Eh, fue un trabajo para una empresa de working at. Uh -huh. Yes, but the the uh, the business give you that things to put it over, or you made it. Um, ¿Usted, ¿Usted hizo esas um, cositas o, o ellos se la dieron? No, I'm making the is the ellos solo me dieron el diseño. ¿Y cómo lo hizo? Que todos le quedaran iguales. Eso ya es, eh, eh, this is the cookies, moldies. Oh, okay. It looks nice. Good job. Ah, es, que, es que para que todas me quedaran iguales, se imprime, ¿verdad? En papel de arroz. Okay, okay. Nice. But the printer is with, with yes. something that you can eat. Uh, yes, is base rice pe pepper. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Y la, la otra que mandó unas recetas ahí, ¿va a querer que se las comparta? Alguien mandó unas recetas en el, en el WhatsApp. Yo, teacher, yo las envié para que las leyéramos entre todos. Ok. Pero a este, la la, la, el procedimiento lo tuve que quitar porque se leía así, ¿ve? O sea, no es inglés. O sea, dejé solamente este, los ingredientes. Y vamos a tener que, que, que decir cómo creemos que se hacen. <laughs> For example, the fresh cocoa salad. The directions, if you notice, is not really English. Okay. And I guess that is something that. Well, I don't know even what 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 is the language. I thought at first that it was French, but then I realized it's not French. Okay, the fresh cocos salad. Ingredients. Somebody to read the ingredients. Hello. Me? Yes. 100. Okay, go ahead. Milk. 100 millimeters of milk. 100 millimeters milk. Milk. 50. 50. Grams. Butter. Butter. Uh -huh. Three eggs. Three eggs. Uh -huh. One cup cocoa. Uh huh. Two table. Uh, this means tablespoon. Uh, okay, tablespoon. That that's the big, the big, the big spoon. Tablespoon. Okay. Okay. Cocoa. Cocoa and two tablespoon. No, this is teaspoon. The the little one. Teaspoon. Okay. Uh huh. Teaspoon baking soda. Uh -huh. A pinch of salt, and three eggs. 
other Th this, three. This, this sounds uh, very strange. I don't know what you can do with those ingredients. Cocoa, yes. it sounds it sounds more like uh a kind of uh like like uh a tole or something like that because it has a lot of milk it Maybe. has it has food, egg. Food. It could be like a flan. It could be like a flan. Because it has baking soda as well. But it says three eggs. Yes, yes could be like a flan. With combining the milk with uh, eggs is the similar um, maicena. Uh-huh. Is 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 like a flan. Mm -hmm. It could be, but it says salad. But it, 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 the ingredients are not for a salad. Okay, vegetable pirog. Okay, it has the same ingredients. I guess that. Uh, they wanted to create some kind of recipes, but they don't have the real recipes. If you notice, it's the same ingredients for all of them. For example, here, they don't have any of the vegetables that you can see on the picture. Okay. I guess that it is uh, the place where you get the recipes is something that they are starting to create, but they don't have still the real thing because the ingredients are all the same for all the recipes. Okay. And the, in the procedure, was not uh, was not something that we can read, okay? Now, somebody else uh, has uh, the recipe that can share like Carlos Mauricio did. Alguien más tiene su receta? Yo. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Okay, lasagna. Mm. Yummy. Okay, my my receipt is for cheesy lasagna. Okay. Total time prepare is 30 minutes and bake one hour and makes 12 servings. Okay. Um next ingredients. One pound ground beef, one million onion chopped, two garlic cloves, mindset, one can, 28 ounces, tomatoes. On drying, one can eight ounces is slide mushrooms drying. One can six ounces tomato pasta, and one teaspoon salt. Uh, one teaspoon breathe oregano, one teaspoon breathe Brazil, and half. Uh, three spoons peppers, half three spoons fennel seed, two, sorry, um, two cups, uh, forty percent cottage cheesy, uh, two thirty cups, um, grated parmesan cheese, 
one quarter cup, shredded, shredded. How do you say? Shredded. Shredded, okay. Milk, cheddar, cheesy. And one half cups, shredder, part of the skin, mozzarella, cheesy, divide. Two large eggs and one pound lasagna noodles, cook it and drain. Okay. Direction. First, in a skill, cook beef, onions, and garlic over mediums. And medium heat. Medium heat. Until meat is no longer pink and onions in uh, is is standard drain in a blender. Process the tomato until it's smooth. A stirring to beef mixer along with mushroom, tomato pasta, and seasoning. Simmer uh, 50 minutes. 15 minutes. And next, in a bowl, combine cottage cheesy, parmesan and cheddar, half cup mozzarella and eggs. Um, spread two cups, meat sauce in the bottom of a ungrised city for nine in baking dish. Arrange half the noodles over sauce, and spread cheesy mixture over noodles with top with remaining noodles and sauce. And okay. finally, cover and bake at um, three three hundred fifty degrees. Three hundred fifty degrees for forty five minutes. Uncover and sprinkle with remaining mozzarella. Return the over for 15 minutes or until cheese in milk. Okay. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for sharing. You have to share it at, at the WhatsApp group because it's, it's a nice recipe. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, somebody. Someone else? Alguien más? Alguien más que tenga su receta? O si no preparó PPT, por lo menos que quiera compartir. Ok. Brenda. Excellent. Se ve. Yes. Eh, Tiene que poner okay. presentación con diapositivas aquí arriba. Excellent. Sí, ahorita ya. Ok. Ok. Um, mi re, ¿Cómo es? <laughs> My recipe. 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 Um, bacon wrapped. Meat balls. Good. Oh, ingredient ingredients. Um, growth beef, bacon, mozzarella cheese, um, one egg, olive oil, olive oil, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Olive oil. Ol olive oil, oil. Um, Purple onion, or uh, one garlic, pepper to taste, salt to taste. Uh, preparation. First, in a small container, a, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of chopper, Garlic. garlic and onion and the girl. 
Uh, then Miss Evelyn, Evelyn with a spoon. Next, begin, begin to four balls with the meat. Put a little mozzarella cheese inside. After that, um, grind the little balls with the bacon. And fin finally, place the saucepan soften uh, with a little olive, olive oil, oil <laughs> to fry them and delicious. Yes. <laughs> it can give you a heart attack, but it is nice. <laughs> <Thanks. laughs> okay, I, I love bacon. I love bacon. But I like to let it get brown because uh, there are some people that don't cook it well. I like it to be toast. Okay. Now, someone else? Someone else that would like to share the recipe? You, you may, you may uh, talk about your recipe without sharing anything, but if if you have your PPT, you can share it. No one else? Nadie más tiene su receta? Okay, don't worry. We still have so no, teacher, yo tengo una, pero ahí la subí en WhatsApp, pero no, 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 no la pude subir así en. Permítame. Okay. Quiero ver. Este lo hemos saltado. Sí. Ok. Lo vamos a ver aquí. Permítame. Fíjense que hay teclas de la laptop que no me, no me trabajan. Let's see. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. okay. Lomo saltado. Uh -huh. Ingredients. One kilogram of beef. Four tomatoes. Two onions. One chopped pepper. One spoon of garlic. One glass of wine. One yellow aji, three potatoes, one spoon spoo of salt. Eh, ese medio, no sé cómo se dice, maestro. Hars. Hars. Hars spoon of pepper. One spoon of oil vinegar, two spoon of oil, oil. Preparation. One. In a deep bowl, but the beef and seasoning with salt. Pepper and vinegar, 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 así. Yes, vinegar. Yes. Vinegar, mix, cover with plastic wrap and let the sun. Two, in a large skillet, heat two tablespoons of oil at the beef so that it has a baking remove the meat. Three, in the same pan, cook the onion, tomatoes and cook for minutes. Add, add one tablespoon tablespoon parsley and yellow pepper. Season with salt and pepper. Four, add to the beef. Mix well and reserve hot while they prepare the chips, rice, a company. I invite you to visit my restaurant Cholo Soy. <laughs> we are look, <laughs> es el, anun, el, el comercial. Yes. <laughs> In Chilca, I Chilca. don't know what, what, where the Chilca is. <laughs> My other all, is all Panamericana <laughs> in block five in the district of in Chilca. Of Chilca. <laughs> Pero como la Panamericana viene desde, desde Alaska hasta, hasta, ¿cómo se llama? Maybe Mexico. No, todo, todo. Sí, aquí todavía Panam en, en Panamá todavía está la Panamericana. O sea, desde, desde Alaska hasta acá, hasta Panamá, yo creo que se corta en el Darién. 
en, en, en la selva del Darién. Pero creo que comienza otra vez este, ahí en Colombia y sigue hasta, hasta ¿cómo se llama? Eh, hasta Argentina. O sea, que la Panamericana supuestamente es toda, toda, toda América. Mirador, la, la. Uf. Sí, búsquenla. Es más, eh, para venir del Salvador se viene uno en la Panamericana y llega hasta aquí, hasta Panamá. Pero así como tipo mochilero sería bonito para ir conociendo todos los lugares. Ah, sí, yo, yo quiero hacerme un viajecito así, o sea, con, con, con el tiempo del mundo, ¿verdad? Porque en, en, en la Ticabús. Si yo tomo la tica bus aquí para ir para El Salvador son tres días, pero no lo dejan a uno ni casi ni bajarse, o sea, hasta la comida te la sirven ahí en, en, en el tica bus. Solo te bajas cuando tienes que, que ir cambiando cada una de las fronteras. O sea, que eh, por cada frontera te tenés que bajar dos veces, porque donde salís y donde entras, donde salís y donde entras, pero de ahí sentada todo el recorrido, pero... A mí me gustó en Ticabús porque fui conociendo más, ¿verdad? Pero quisiera ir en mi propio vehículo parando, ¿verdad? O sea, donde yo quiera, visitar lo que yo quiera y tomarme mi tiempo en cada país, ¿verdad? Sería bonito. Ok. Eh, someone else wants to share? Hello. Hello, teacher. Good night. Yes. yes. I try. I try to share it. Okay. okay. There, where it says, "Ecole." You did it. Oh, the hot cakes. Yeah, this is a re recipe of, of hot cakes. <laughs> um. And first. Eh, eh, you have to go to here, donde dice presentación con diapositivas. Aquí arriba. Presentación con diapositivas. Mm, y no, F5. F5 también. Ah, bueno. F5, más rápido. Mira. École. Gracias. This is the recipe of hot cakes. And first, add an egg a cup of flour, and a spoon of butter, a glass of milk or water, if you want. If you, if you, you don't have milk, you can add water if you want. It's better with milk. Yeah, it's better milk, yes. And next, mix the other ingredients in a blender machine, or you can mix all the ingredients with a spoon by yourself if you want, if you don't have a, a, a blender. Okay. And then throw on the stove on a low heat. Mm -hmm. And after, add the mixture on the pan cover with a little butter and turn it when you see bubbles on the top. Mm -hmm. And finally, serve it with the honey and the fruit if you want and enjoy it. That's okay. Finished. But this is not honey. This is caramel. Caramel. Yes. Uh, yes. This is no honey. This is caramel. Yeah, you, you, you can have use to say how want. to make the caramel. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they look delicious. Thank you. Yeah. Someone else? Ya me dio hambre. <laughs> Someone else? ¿Alguien más? No. Eh, los, los PPT los suben al, al WhatsApp, por favor. Ok. ¿Ya nadie más va a, a darnos su receta? Bien. Entonces vamos a ver esto. This is... Eh, de, de, del, 
del libro que tienen, del curso, dice Eating for Energy. O sea, es un, una reading que está ahí. Lo vamos a hacer ahorita. Now, eh, first just listen and follow the reading. Eating for Energy. Do you know anything about this food pyramid? What does it show? Many professional sports teams have recently added a new member to their organization, a nutritionist. That's because athletes have become aware that food affects performance. You don't have to be an athlete to notice this effect. If you've ever skipped breakfast and then try to clean the house, you know that you need food for energy. Here are some tips about eating to increase your physical performance. First, eat enough food. Your body needs a certain number of calories each day. If you are too thin, you'll often feel tired and you'll be more likely to get sick. Two, read the labels on food products. This information will tell you how nutritious the foods are. Three, avoid eating foods that are high in simple carbohydrates, that is sugars. A chocolate bar will first give you energy, but then it will leave you feeling even more tired. Eat a balanced diet, one that includes complex carbohydrates, protein, and fat. Use the food pyramid to help you decide how much to eat of each type of food. Complex carbohydrates provide the body with fuel. They are found in fruits and vegetables and in bread, rice, pasta, and other foods made from grains. The body uses protein to build muscles and it uses fat to absorb the vitamins in food. Protein and fat are found in foods like milk, cheese, meat, fish, and eggs. Too much fat, however, can be harmful. Okay? And this is the food pyramids. This means you can eat more from the first thing, a little less from the second, uh, and floor <laughs> and less from the third one and a bit of the top okay and this is the sugars and honey and all that okay that's the way you have to eat supposedly but in uh, there there are some people that uh, gives you uh, a diet with protein. You can you can eat only meat, things like that, and no carbohydrates. Okay, and not fruit and not vegetables. But I guess that is better if you eat fruits and vegetables, and almost not meat, and you can eat less carbohydrates. I think fruits and vegetables is healthier than meat, but I am not vegetarian. I am not a veggie, okay? But I prefer fruits and vegetables rather than meat. What do you think about it? Yes, teacher. Um, I'm thinking equal than you okay. because 
me, for me, the vegetables and fruit is is very healthy. Yes, it's healthier, especially if the fruit. If especially if you know that the fruit comes from your garden, because you know that you don't put uh, chemicals on it, and you don't use uh, pesticides, chemical pesticides. Okay. Now, uh, let's read all together. And then we will read in a chain, okay? Like yesterday. Eating for energy. Everybody repeat. repeat. Eating oh, for, eating energy. for, energy. for, for energy. energy. Do you know anything about this food pyramid? What does it show? What does it show? Many professional sports teams. Many, many professional sports teams have recently added a new member. Have recently added a new member to their organization. Today, organization, a nutritionist. A nutritionist. That's because. That's that because, because, because athletes. Athletes. athletes have become aware. Have become, have become aware, aware that food affects performance. That food affects performance. You don't have to be an athlete to notice this effect. You don't that have to be an athlete to notice this effect. If you've ever skipped breakfast, if you've ever skipped breakfast, and then try to clean the house, and then try to clean the house, you know that you need food for energy. You know, you know that that energy. 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 Here are some tips about eating. Here are some tips about eating. about eating to increase your physical performance. To, to increase your physical, physical performance. Eat enough food. Eat enough food. Your body needs a certain number of calories each day. Your body needs a certain number of calories each day. If you are too thin, if you are too thin, you often feel tired. You often feel tired. And you'll be more likely to get sick. And you will be more like Con respecto a eso, yo no estoy muy de acuerdo. Porque resulta que, según los doctores, este, las personas gordas, si, si les da, este, ¿cómo se llama esto? Que, como chikungulla y todo eso, es así. Este... Eh, le puede dar eh, el, el, el hemorrágico. O sea, a, eh, en la gente gorda, como que eh, se, la enfermedad agarra como más fuerte que en la sí, gente sí. delgada. ¿Verdad? En, en esa, ¿cómo que se llama? No es malaria, es chikungulla, el otro. Zika. Zika y hay otro. Era el, 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 el más famoso dengue. se me ha Dengue. Le puede dar dengue hemorrágico a la gente cuando es gorda. Entonces, ahí en ese caso yo no estoy muy segura sobre respecto a, a de que si usted es delgado, este, se va a enfermar más. No. Es más, la gente demasiado gorda corre peligro de enfermarse del corazón corre peligro de enfermarse de otras cosas, porque, por ejemplo, eh, 
supuestamente el cuerpo está elaborado para aguantar cierto peso. Entonces, si usted empieza a pesar más, no sé si usted se ha fijado cómo camina la gente gorda. La gente gorda tiende a, a unir las, las piernas y poner, eh, o sea, las rodillas las va uniendo. Eso ya es deformación del cuerpo, ¿verdad? Porque la gordura eh, le hace que vaya perdiendo la forma del cuerpo, que, o sea, cómo debería de ser el cuerpo, ¿verdad? Es más, si usted se fija, hay gente que, que ya casi no puede ni caminar de tan gordo que está. Entonces, eh, considero que cada quien sabe hasta dónde va a llegar, porque vaya, yo nunca he sido delgada, pero porque yo padezco de la tiroides. Entonces, yo aunque tome solo agua, igual engordo. Entonces, y yo sé que hacer dieta para mí no me ayuda en nada. Entonces, yo como de todo, pero sé hasta dónde llego, ¿verdad? Porque sé que no quiero engordar más de lo debido porque no me conviene, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, pero digo yo, si yo que tengo, o sea, soy propensa a engordar por la tiroides, me sé mantener, ¿cómo es que las personas que no padecen de eso no pueden mantenerse? Es, es cuestión de tener uno autocontrol. Es más. Teacher, no será por ansiedad. Eso iba a decirle. Hay gente que por ansiedad, pero si usted sabe que está ansioso, la ansiedad la debe de manejar uno mismo. ¿Verdad? Porque es uno mismo el que se permite estar ansioso. Entonces, ¿qué es lo mejor? Relajarse, calmarse. Y, digamos, en lugar de estar comiendo, mejor tomar agua. El agua le ayuda, ¿verdad? Y el agua le da cierta satisfacción en, en el estómago. Another recommendation is not, eh, at the moment that you are eating, don't eat until you feel full. O sea, no coma hasta que usted sienta que está lleno. Porque cuando ya usted siente en la hora de estar comiendo que está lleno, es porque ha comido más de lo que debería comer. Porque para que le llegue eh, del estómago a su cerebro de que ya usted ya se llenó, se tarda. ¿verdad? Entonces es mejor comer hasta que está satisfecho, parar ahí y después usted va a sentir que aunque no haya comido más, ya se llenó, porque eh, este, hasta después le llega el mensaje. Entonces, si usted come hasta reventar, el estómago se le va haciendo más y más grande, porque se expande. ¿Verdad? Y por eso hay gente que después hace un su procedimiento donde le, no sé si le doblan el estómago o si le cortan un pedazo de estómago, para Bypass. hacerse lo más chiquito. Bypass, ¿eh? Sí, tengo entendido, se los cortan, dicho. Ajá. Entonces, pero, pero eso no es algo bueno, pues. O sea, ¿para qué se va? Para empezar, todas las cirugías llevan eh, peligro. Todo lo que es cirugía lleva peligro. Usted, hasta de una cirugía de un diente, se puede quedar por lo que es el, 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 la anestesia. ¿Verdad? En Entonces, este... Así que lo recomendable es mejor no tener que llegar a esos extremos. ¿verdad? Entonces uno no tiene que comer hasta que ella se siente lleno, sino que uno tiene que comer hasta que se siente satisfecho. Más adelante usted va a sentir que ya se llenó. ¿verdad? Por eso algunas veces uno se levanta de comer y siente que la comida la tiene por aquí. ¿verdad? ¿Por qué? Porque no dejó de comer hasta sentirse lleno. Y entonces, y el estómago tiene cierto espacio, ¿verdad? Pero si usted le echa de más, se va a ir creciendo. Y después cada vez va a querer comer más para llenar lo que le creció más el estómago. Eh, y eso no es conveniente. Pero también el estómago se puede ir reduciendo, ¿verdad? Y para eso, ¿qué necesita usted? Socarse, ¿verdad? Entonces usted... 
se, se pone algún su tipo de faja a la hora de ir a comer y entonces eso no le va a dejar que usted coma de más. <risa> o los jeans que les quedan socados, ¿verdad? No sé si a ustedes alguna vez les pasó de que hasta se tuvo que acostar para que, que le subiera el jean, ¿verdad? <risa> Esos son clásicos. Con eso vaya a comer, con los que, que le queden apretados para que no coma de más. ¿Ok? Now, read the labels of food products. Vale. En, en cuestión de esto, yo mejor les recomendaría que traten de comer lo menos posible comida enlatada. Porque todo lo que va enlatado lleva preservantes químicos. ¿verdad? Entonces es mejor comer eh, cosas frescas. ¿Verdad? Tanto carnes, eh, frutas y verduras, no cosas enlatadas. Ok. Then avoid eating foods that are high in simple carbohydrates. That is sugars and chocolate bar. Eh, vaya, por ejemplo, el chocolate. El chocolate yo tengo entendido que es bueno para la salud, pero no cualquier tipo de chocolate. Si es chocolate con leche, eh, esos son más azúcar que chocolate. Entonces usted trate de comprar chocolate negro, black chocolate. ¿verdad? Ese le da todo lo bueno del chocolate, ¿verdad? Y menos azúcar. Entonces, y, y, y los beneficios que tiene el chocolate. ¿Ok? Now, eat a balanced diet, one that includes complex carbohydrates, protein and fat. Use the food pyramid to help you decide. It, it, this is the food pyramid. Okay. Now, repeat after me. Eh, nos habíamos quedado. Okay. In, eat, eat enough food. Eat enough food. Eat enough food. Your body needs a certain number of calories each day. Your body, your body, if you're too thin, if you're too thin, you'll often feel tired. You often feel tired, and you'll be more likely to get sick. And you'll be more likely to get sick. Read the labels on foods products. Read the labels on food products. This information will tell you how nutritious the foods are. This information will tell you how nutritious the foods are. Avoid eating foods that are high in simple carbohydrates. That is sugars. That is sugar. A chocolate bar will give will first give you energy. Well, will so first keep you keep your energy. energy, but then it will leave you feeling even more tired. But then, but then it will, will leave you feeling, you feeling more tired. 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 Eso sucede más que todo con las personas que padecen de algo que se llama hipoglucemia. La hipoglucemia es como lo opuesto a la, a la diabetes. La diabetes. Ajá. Pero este, es, 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 más, es más letal que la diabetes. Porque esto, eh, o sea, produce demasiado, demasiada insulina el cuerpo. Entonces, les evitan comer azúcar. ¿Verdad? 
Porque digamos, si usted, como gente normal, come un dulce, el cuerpo le produce la insulina necesaria para ese dulce. Si usted es diabético, su cuerpo no produce este, insulina y por eso usted tiene que tomar insulina o inyectarse insulina. ¿Verdad? Pero la gente que padece de hipoglucemia produce más insulina de la que necesita. Entonces, por ejemplo, yo tengo un hijo que es hipoglucémico y es el chef. Entonces, al principio él se sintió bien mal cuando se dieron cuenta, cuando nos dimos cuenta de que él padecía de hipoglucemia, porque él desde los ocho años había decidido que quería ser chef. Y nos dimos cuenta a los 18 años, pues que cuando ya estaba en el último de bachillerato, que era hipoglucémico. Entonces todo el mundo le dijo, ya no vas a poder chef, ser chef. Yo le dije, no, al contrario, puedes ser chef y con la enfermedad que tienes y, y con sabes qué dieta tienes que tener, te puedes dedicar a cocinarle a la gente que sufre de lo mismo que tú sufres o la gente que quiera mantenerse en línea. Porque este, no cualquier gente piensa en la gente hipoglucémica a la hora de cocinar. ¿Verdad? Entonces, sí, este, este, en lugar de, de, de no acompañarlo en su sueño, yo lo seguí, eh, porque todo el mundo decía, ya no vas a poder ser chef. Y él todo sí, chico palado. Y yo, no, usted puede ser chef y es más, eh, puede cocinar para ese grupo especial de gente. ¿Verdad? Porque es, es raro, usted no llega a un restaurante donde le digan a, aquí, este tipo de comida es para la gente que padece de esto. ¿Verdad? O sea, cocinan en general para todo el mundo. Lo más que hacen es poner los ingredientes y usted tiene que decidir si puede o no puede comer de eso. Como está ahí. ¿Verdad? Entonces, por ejemplo, aquí eh, en El Salvador sí pueden encontrar postres que están hechos eh, para gente diabética, que le sirve también a la gente de hipoglucemia. Pero aquí en Panamá no. Entonces nosotros, yo le he enseñado a él cómo hornear y cómo hacer los cambios, porque eh, los cambios que, que, que sugieren de azúcar con respecto a, 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 la, a la azúcar de dieta, este, no me parecen. Entonces yo he hecho mis propias conversiones. Porque normalmente dicen que una taza de azúcar son 24 sobres. Y yo he descubierto que no, que es mejor una taza de azúcar eh, son 16 sobres, no 24. Porque con 24 sobres queda aquel saborcito raro al final. Cuando uno come eso, a mí no me gusta. Entonces con 16 sobres no se siente eso. <risa> Para los que cocinan. ¿Verdad? 16 sobres para, en vez de, de, de una taza de azúcar para cuando cocinen. ¿Ok? Y pruébenlo y van a ver que sí se siente bien. Bien. Eh, use the food pyramid to help you decide how much to eat. Use, use the food the pyramid. Food. Use, use the food pyramid to help How much to eat? How much to eat? How much to eat? Of each type of food. Of each type of food. Complex carbohydrates. Complex carbohydrates. Provide the body with food. Provide the body with food. They are found in fruits and vegetables. They are found in fruits and vegetables. And in bread. And in bread. And rice. Rice. Pasta. Pasta. In other foods. In other foods made. Made from grains. 
milk, milk or grain. grain. The butter, the body uses protein. The body, the body uses protein to build muscles. To build muscles. Muscle. And it uses fat. And it uses fat. fat to absorb the vitamins in food. To absorb, to absorb the, the vitamins, vitamins in food. In food. Protein and fat. Protein and fat are found in foods like milk. Are found, found in foods like, like milk, milk, cheese, milk, cheese, meat, 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 meat fish, 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 and eggs. And egg. eggs. Too much fat. Too, too much, much fat. fat. However, however, can be harmful. Can be can harmful. Be Okay, now let's start. Eating for energy. Do you know anything about this food pyramid? What does it show? Brenda Isabel. Hey, teacher. Continue. Many professional sport teams have a secret add a new member to their organization. Organization. Organization, pardon. Okay, recently, recently. recently. Okay. okay, now who continues? A nutritionist that because athlete, athletes mm -hmm. have become aware that food affect performance. Okay, you, as a, usted lo va a leer todo o no va a dejar que nadie más lea? <laughs> Acuérdense que usted tiene que decidir hasta dónde sí, sí. llega y quién sigue después de usted. Uh, mailing el Okay. Ok. <ríe> mailing. Hello, ¿desde dónde, Miss? Es que estoy desde el teléfono, casi no veo okay. bien. ¿Desde dónde? You don't have. Ah, ok. You don't have to be an athlete to notice the, this effect. Ok, hasta If ahí you... puede dejarlo y puede pedir a alguien más que le ayude. Ok. ¿Lo mira mejor eh... ahí? Sí, 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 sí. Veo mejor okay. ahí. Un, un poquito más cosas. If... Uh -huh. Ahí está. Thank you. If you ever... Uh, if you ever skipped breakfast and then tried to clean the house, you know that you need food for energy. Ok. Here are some... Ah, ok, ok. Eh, yo escojo. Sí. Ok. Patricia Martínez. Ok, thank you. Thank you, Miss. Patricia Martínez. Michelle Beatriz. Ok. Here Zero. are some yes. Here are some tips about eating to increase your physical performance. Continue. Si usted quiere. Si no, okay. escoge alguien más. Eat enough food. Your body needs a certain number of calories each day. Each day. Um, continúa Anselma. Anselmo. Anselmo. Jocelyn Natalia. Sí. Could you continue? Okay. If you are to ding, think you think, think you often feel tired and you be more likely to get sick. Okay. Who who is uh, next? Quiero ver. No sé si ya pasó Miley. Miley Alvarenga. Ya pasó. Sí, ya, ya pasó. 
Es que no distingo. Voy a ver aquí quién es. Carlos, Mauricio. Ok, Carlos. Uh, here. Read the labels. Uh, food products. This information will tell you how nutrition the foods are. Ok, thank you. Um, let me see. Brian Rodas. Okay. Avoid eating foods that are high in simple carbohydrates. Okay. That it's sugar. Sugars. Okay. Uh, and next. Patricia Martínez. Ya la nombraron anteriormente y no estaba. Nombramos a la teacher. <ríe> a mí, vale. <ríe> a ver. Mi teacher, Lisbeth. Ok, Lisbeth. A chocolate bar will first give you energy, but then it will... Left you feeling even more tired. Okay, thank you. Who's the next, next? Carla Melanie. Who's Melissa, who's perdón. Who's Carla who's Melissa. Who's Carla Melissa. Nestalia Antonio. Okay, teacher. Okay. It's a balanced diet. One that includes a complex carbohydrate, protein, and fat. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's mm, Yeah, yeah. Okay, continue. Use the food pyramid to help you decide how much to eat of each type of food. Complex carbohydrates, carbohydrates provide the body with the food. Okay. They are found in fruits and vegetables, in the bread. The next is Wendy Cecilia. Wendy Cecilia, thank you. Wendy Cecilia. Okay. okay. Seria, bread, rice, pasta, and other food made for grains. Okay. The body, the body as protein to will muscles and need uh, us fat to absorb the vitamins in food. Okay, thank you. Eh, fíjense que ahorita que estoy leyendo esto de fat, de que the body uses fat to absorb the vitamins in food. I remember a, a movie I saw that the the child cannot get the the vitamins from food because he cannot get the the fat he he cannot make the fat to make uh, the food be absorbed so uh, their parents started to study and to find special kinds of oil that will help him to absorb the vitamins from food. And it's a special kind of, of sickness that the, this guy has, but there were other people in the world that has the same problem. And when they found the, the, the type of oil that can help him, uh, it was too late for the for the child, but helps other people with that problem. It was very interesting. Okay, someone else to continue. Me. Okay. Uh, Protein. Protein and fat are found in foods like milk, cheese, meat, fish, and eggs. Too much fat, however, can be harmful. Harmful. 
harmful. O sea, dañino. Harmful. Okay. Well, thank you. See you on Monday. Have a nice weekend. And for Say the yes. next, for the next okay. week, for the next week, start to think on a trip that you would like to have. ¿Dónde le gustaría ir? ¿A, a, a qué, qué países le gustaría visitar? Porque sobre eso vamos a estar hablando el, el próximo, la próxima semana. Y yo creo que la próxima semana estaríamos terminando como en martes con todo y el examen. Porque el, 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 es bien cortito. El, el, solo son... Ya, ya lo vieron, ¿verdad? La, la, la sección 5 yes, es bien cortita. Bien yes. Entonces, este, yo siento que la vamos a terminar el mismo lunes. Y ya para martes ya eh, hemos hecho el examen. Y como el miércoles es libre, ¿verdad? Jueves y viernes estaríamos hablando sobre nuestro dream eh, places to go to visit, ¿ok? Okay. Hoy hubo okay. varios okay, que no teacher. hubo varios que no que no compartieron su receta. Espero que para la próxima semana les estoy diciendo con anterioridad para que puedan preparar your dream vacation, ¿ok? Where you bye, teacher. Like to go, ¿ok? Bye bye. Okay, Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye.